As part of 2022's LGBTQ History Month, we've been exploring the letters of Radcliffe Hall, part of our special collections held here at the University in our Cadbury Research Library. This series of letters reveal a passionate and complicated love affair between esteemed English author Radcliffe Hall and Eugenia Céline, a Russian immigrant nurse who she met in Normandy in 1934. By the time they meet, Radcliffe Hall would already be a famous celebrity. Her book, The Well of Loneliness, published in 1928, had become the focus of a moral campaign by the Sunday Express editor, who called for the book to be suppressed. By November 1928, the book was the focus of an obscenity trial in the English court, which led to it being banned and the magistrate ordering existing copies to be burnt. You can see various news clippings about the trial in our Cabby Research Library. For the last nine years of her life, Radcliffe Hall continued both her long-term relationship with socialite Una Trowbridge and her affair with Eugenia. What follows are extracts of Hall's letters to Eugenia, as read by some of our students here at the university. My own darling love, four days and we shall be together again. I shall see your most darling face and have you in my arms. I can hardly believe it. This longing I have to spend the night with you, it is a positive craving. Yes, a tormenting craving. I have not wanted to share a whole night of sleep with a woman since I was 20. Maybe I am in my second childhood. Dearest, it is the gentle, happy familiarity of a bed shared. To know you to be asleep and contented beside me. To sleep close up against your warm body. That, to me, is the peace of heaven. I'm only living until I see your face at the station. My beloved, this is Christmas Eve and the little Christmas tree is now dressed and ready to light up tomorrow at dusk. But I, your most devoted lover and friend, I cannot show you the Christmas cottage or the marsh, which is gentle in a very faint mist, or the starling old town that is so lovely in winter. I, who love you, can't show you these things. All I can do is send you rosemary cut from the little south garden of the cottage. I have kissed it. Does it sound sentimental, darling? How can I make you understand how I long and long to be with you this Christmas? My heart is so full of so many things, so many regrets and so many rejoicings, sadness and joy. But then, this is love, a mass of contradictions. My dearest love, your voice again yesterday on the telephone. The joy it gives me to hear your voice. My great desolation when I cannot hear it. My heart feels the pain of its love for you, Eugenia, because my sort of love was meant to always be pain. Doubtless it desires too much, asks too much, expects too much, makes itself a bore, wants to be told every minute or two that I am missed even as I am missing that I am loved even as I am loving, that I am desired even as I am desiring. What we once had, we will have again. It is not too late if we love each other. Oh, the long, long hours, the long days and weeks and months before I shall hold you in my arms. Do you think I shall die of it, this waiting? <laughs> 